Thank you for tuning into Anime Radio. Today I'll be doing a video on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Yes, it's very odd that we uh, do a video about JoJo. Yes, today I'll be like ranking, no, not ranking, listing my favorite JoJo stands of all time. Yes, I'll be doing 10 of my favorites. Obviously, this is opinionated, so, yeah, and there might be some spoilers, yeah, and also this is part one, because, well, they can't be good without the bad, just like there needs to be sugar and marmite, and there has to be tea and coffee and black and white and dark and light and so on and so forth and blah blah blah. So, let's get started. Number 10, Silver Chariot. Yes, I picked Silver Chariot for this because I just love John Pierre Ponoreff and his character. He is incredibly funny and oh my gosh, he is perfectly made. I love him. And his stand is just a good representation of a unique and interesting stand because you don't see much stands like Silver Chariot. And surely you have never seen a stand like Silver Chariot Requiem. Oh, that was a spoiler. Oops. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not gonna let that slide. Yeah, so Silver Chariot. Also, I just really like the way that he fights. He might not be the strongest ever stand, but he is a good stand nevertheless. Now, let's move on to number nine. Number nine, Heaven's Door. I like Heaven's Door because it's just a good, great representation of any manga writer, any manga drawer, illustrator, so on so far. Well, that I just can just, oh my gosh. And then as somebody who likes to draw myself and who says that they're pretty good at drawing not digitally i like to do it uh, classically but heaven's door is just so cool and the way that he fights is really interesting and it's just like he could be super strong he could be like one of the strongest one of the strongest stands in jojo if there wasn't like uh the stands uh yum 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 uh, Killer Queen, King Crimson, Star, Platinum, The World, The World, you know, Life. So, yeah, so, Heaven's Door. Number eight is the next one, and I'm choosing, um, I'm choosing Echoes, or Reverb, because... I love when Koichi finds a new act and it's just really cool to see him being shocked about everything really and he almost died and he just got an egg as a stand but then it evolved into Echoes Act 1 or Reverb Act 1 should I say and Reverb Act 2 and Reverb Act 3. I don't like Reverb, I will say Echoes. Echoes. Oops, I've dropped something. Anyway, I thought about Echoes and Koichi Stent because it's just so developed and how they put it out, incredibly awesome. And I just love the scene where uh, Echoes Act 3 let, uh, says, let's kill the who. Uh, memes come from Echoes Act 3. So, that's why. Number seven. My number seven pick will be a stand that a lot of people quite like. It's, um, I don't know if people like this stand actually. Red Hot Chili Pepper. I just liked 
the, the fight. Uh, I don't really care much for the stand, actually. But he was pretty good. I, I liked uh, the way that uh, he was animated in the anime. And this is only an anime stand rating list. So that's why there will be no Stone Ocean, Steel Ball 1 and Jojolian. I'm sorry for you manga readers, but I just don't want mega spoilers for me. And also, Red Hot Chili Pepper, oh my god, can't... Okay, I'm going to shorten the name to RHCP. So, RHCP is really good because it just... He reminds me a little bit about Zenitsu and his uh, breath style. Because it's just so weird. And the way that he fights, it really shows that uh, RHCP's user really is smart. And it was just a the best interaction when Okayasu you summoned the hand and then the hand like torn the ground and then RHCP just went into the electrical circuits and got power and Badoosh Badam wow that was a good fight good 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 fight now we've done number seven let's do number six Number six, Moody Blues. You might wonder if you haven't watched Ventadora, who the hell is Moody Blues? What the hell happened to Killer Queen? Do you think I came to this channel to find some haters? And uh, no, I no, actually, I just really like Moody Blues, and also, I just love Leon Abaccio. He's a great character. And some stands in this uh, part was quite lacking. I mean, Sex Pistols and Aerosmith, I find those stands completely crappy. Not that their powers suck, it's just that <laughs> it could have been so much better. I was really hoping for the Navanta to have something really cool. And then he came out with an airplane and I was like, Boy, you you have a good stand, but I, I would like that to be a little better. Yeah. Moody Blues. He also has a cool ability to, like, rewind time to just look at it. Not to actually, like, rewind time, just to see what happened. And it would be really cool to have a spin-off where Moody Blues, like... And Abaccio has, has their own murder mystery thing. Because it would be like really awesome. But it would suck. Because uh, Abaccio is dead. I'm, uh, sorry. Spoilers. Abaccio died. Yeah. yeah so he died. <laughs> Fun. Okay, let's move on to number five, which is a really important number because it's halfway through this and I'm already tired. Let's go. Number five. Hierophant Green from Star Wars Crusaders. This stand is uh, like one of the first stands we ever saw other than Hermit Purple, Magician's Red. And Star Platinum. I don't think we saw Hermit Purple actually. Well, yeah. So, he was one of the first stands we ever saw. And Nariaki Kokyoin was a very developed character. He was an enemy, then turned into a friend, and then he died. Yeah, that was pretty bad, yeah, but he was. He, he had a good life as. A, a character and uh, he had a great stand and that meme though that meme I, I can't put my tongue in my finger on it on my tongue the, uh, what was that um, uh, that meme that uh, uh, changed the stand respectability what was it I don't know. I, I I don't know. I I don't know. 
I might... <laughs> I must be thinking of stuff. Well, other than that, Hierophant Green was really confusing to me because I had no bloody damn idea if it was a close range stand, a long range stand, a range reducted stand. What the hell is this stupid stand about? And also, did it have any other abilities? Because I'm really confused. Can it shrink? People are saying this can. Oh, no, no it can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That was my reaction when I found out about, like, everything about this stand. Confusion, annoyance, I guess. And, yeah. Number four. Ooh, this is exciting. Let's give some love for... Gold Experience. And you might be wondering, am I including Gold Experience Requiem? And actually, yes, I'm including Gold Experience and Gold Experience Requiem because uh, there is no difference uh, besides the destructive nature of Requiem. But it's just, I find them uh, one stand rather than two. I just. I find that both of them have same qualities and, well, they're from the same user, so I'm just going to mash them together in a jumble. Boom! So, the reason I picked Golden Experience is because... Can I really leave out this stand for being in anything other than something that can kill King Crimson? With single, single, oh my god, that was an incredible fight, and I, the reason I only put it at four is because, oh, that face, just look at that face, I'm reducting a lot of points just by that face, oh my gosh, look at, look at that, it's like, it's, it's staring into my soul. It's like it's like removing my life. If it was just a golden experience, a gold experience, sorry, it would be fine. But oh my gosh, that face is killing me. It's haunting my dreams. Um, and yeah, that's why I picked gold experience for Equim and gold experience for my uh, number four spot. Should we move on to number three? Yes, please. Yes, p please. Give it up for the number three spot, King Crimson. You might be thinking, what the hell? You are stupid. You're just saying it because it's popular. Blah, 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 blah. No, I'm not. It's good. It's actually interesting. His ability confused me at the start, but then I realized all of these Stan's faces are stupid. And, uh, I forgot to mention, it's an okay enemy stand. <laughs> no, it's pretty good, actually. That's why I put it at number three. That it's actually a really good stand. And I loved the arc. Because it just really reminded me of another stand. Which is better. It has a better arc. And it's just, uh, it's not stronger. It might be stronger, I don't know. But it's just really really awesome so that is why king crimson is at my number three spot now let's jump into number two number two knock 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 we have a package for marcus from anime radio for anime radio uh uh from amazon oh uh can i just see that is that is that what you want? Is that what you ordered? Yeah, stop platinum. It says number two. Well, yes, it is number two. And you might be thinking it is so blatantly obvious that he picked number two. But wait, I thought he would be picking like stop platinum four, like I don't know, one. And let me just say, I have no bias to stop platinum. 
or any other stand because Star Platinum is just a great stand and Jotaro Kujo is an epic person stand and I loved the ability and I just loved it in Diamond Unbreakable when Koichi uh, used Act 3, 3 Freeze on Yoshikage Kira and then Star Platinum used Zawarado to finally kill Kira, not, technically not killing because that uh, ambulance killed him but yeah, yeah that's why I picked number 2 as Star Platinum and also damn he's been in the show for uh, quite a while I'm only gonna say he, that he's been in for like three four parts like Stardust Crusaders Diamond is Unbreakable Ventador Stone Ocean as well damn damn Dotoro you young I think I think it's around like 50, 49 something, but yeah, that's uh, a little surprising because, wow, well, that's why I picked Star Platinum for this spot. Now you all waited for it. Number one. I want who it could be. I'm just gonna say Killer Queen. Yes, my pick is Killer Queen, Yoshikage Kira. Don't you hate me because I freaking love him. He he is the best villain in all of JoJo's Fight Me. He is just he has incredible abilities, fight me. He is awesome, fight me. He is the best character stand. In, in the entire of Jojo's, he is, damn, also this picture that I'm looking at, oh my gosh, he is, wow, that, that's, um, some picture, well, yeah, Yosh Kagekira is the best, and, which ultimately defaults the stand being the best.